morning guys and welcome to the British weather. It is disgusting. Just wanted to quickly thank you for the growth on the channel lately. If you are new, make sure to subscribe to the video, give it a thumbs up. Let's get into it. I'm gonna level with you guys. I've been having some issues with my diet. I'm eating a lot right now. I'm an active guy as you know and I'm trying to build some muscle, trying to put on some more size but at the same time you know that my appetite is absolutely crazy and during this gaining phase for me, hitting in my calories is not an issue if anything, I'm still struggling with hunger whilst eating my 3000 calories a day sound familiar? what we need, you and I, that have this issue we need meals that fit in our calories but they're bigger more filling, not a bagel that fits in the palm of your hand, not even an omelette that fits a whole dinner plate or a bowl of cereal that's filled to the brim. We need meals that are big and fit in big bowls. Meals that are low in calorie but are big and fill up big bowls like... Bowls the size of your head? Yeah exactly, a few of those each day would keep me going for sure. How about this one? That bowl is pathetic. I thought you were hungry. Bigger! Oh god, okay, how How about this one? That's getting there, but I think we can do a little bit better. How about this big bad boy? Whoa, that thing is huge. The thing is, I've made some videos on some pretty high volume full days of eating before. But I don't know man, can we really fill up bowls? Like, bowls that are that big? Four or five times a day? for under 3,000 calories. Whoa, 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 3,000 calories? Is that a joke, Ash? Look, I got you, okay? How about you fill up those big ass bowls and 3,000 calories, eating out of bowls the size of your head with meals from my recipe book. You can eat way less than 3,000 calories if you include those. Whoa, that sounds great. But, but man, I've seen your recipe book. There's like over 200 recipes in there. How the hell am I supposed to know which one to have? Look, I know it might be very daunting, okay, but how about I help you out and actually tell you what meals to have from my recipe book? That'd be awesome, thank you. I have to go shopping though. Where, where would you suggest I go? Sainsbury's? Sainsbury's? Is that a joke? Waitrose? Waitrose? I mean, come on, man. I thought you watched my channel. Oh, of course. We have to go to Motherland Numero Uno. That's right, the motherland numero uno. Little, of course, look at the perfect yellow circle inside the blue box, so let's go inside. Welcome all of Ash's subscribers to the motherland numero uno, my second home. Away from home, yes, my life is very sad. To be honest, it could be Tesco's or even Super Value or Aldi as well. But yes, anyway, let's get to the next meal and that is going to be a breakfast baguette. And Ash, I am sorry, but you are not in luck at all. We have a load of pastries over there, but in terms of baguettes, I don't think they have any. But don't you worry, okay? Me and Ash are dedicated to making this video the best video on YouTube. So, hit the like button, actually. Subscribe to his channel, and we are going across to Super Valu for this baguette. Okay, so here we go. Super Valu. Yes, Super Valu, because there is no E at the end. And if there is no baguette here, we are in trouble, Ash. Yes, my man, we are in business. A nice four pack for two year. Absolute bargain. So yes, the breakfast baguette, an absolute staple. Give it a go and I will check back in with you later on. The breakfast baguette? I mean, I'm stepping out of my comfort zone a bit by not having French toast. That's normally what I have. But okay, man, let's give it a go. Okay guys, so if you didn't realise, today I'm going to be doing a full day of eating from the king of volume eating himself and his brand new recipe book, Scott Murray. And I am extremely, extremely honoured in the fact that he's actually offered to help me out with this video. So because of that, please make sure you check his channel out, give him a subscribe, you won't regret it, it's better than mine. And the link to his channel will be in the description below. So today, every single meal I eat is gonna be given to me by Scott Murray and it's gonna be from his brand new high volume recipe book. I'll also be doing a separate video going over a proper detailed review of the recipe book and what you should expect, whether or not it's worth it for you, so on and so on. But I already know, knowing me, this video is going to be too long as it is, so we'll just stick to the food for today. 
Anyway, enough of that. Let's get into the first meal, breakfast baguette. Oh my God, guys, look at that. We've got chicken, we've got egg, we've got cheese, we've got bread. Absolutely cannot go wrong. For the whole massive baguette, we're talking 615 calories, 48 grams of protein, 86 grams of carbs, and only eight grams of fat. Perfect start to the day. Oof. And that was great, to be honest. I'm gonna have to give that a four for satiety because it definitely wasn't like the most voluminous meal, but I don't think it was supposed to. It was more one of those aimed at bulking, maintaining. It's just a nice meal rather than a extreme cutting kind of meal. In terms of taste, I'm gonna give it an eight because it was extremely, extremely nice. But, you know, we, we can't go giving out 10s on the first meal. Uh, in terms of difficulty to make, it's got to be a 10 because, I, I just said I can't give out 10s. It's got to be a 10 because who can't put together a baguette, to be honest. And in terms of creativity, I'm going to give it a 5. It might sound harsh. Like, it's not that it's not creative, but it's not super creative. And I know there's better things to come in terms of creativity. So we can't give out too high numbers yet. But anyway, I'll let that digest for a bit. I'm gonna go for a workout and then we'll get to meal two. Speaking of meal two, what are we having, Scott? Okay, well, meal two is gonna be a bit of a whopper. So are you sure you wanna carry on? Yeah, man, absolutely. I am starving after that workout. Leg day, you know? Ah, I know exactly what you mean. I mean, after all, we need to spike that muscle protein synthesis and start replenishing our glycogen. So yes, meal two is gonna be a giant chipotle bowl. Cool, I love Chipotle. How much spinach do I use though? The whole bag. The whole bag? Seriously? Why? Because we can. <laughs> okay, fair point, fair point. All right, I'll give it a try. Let's get into it. All right guys, it's now time to make the Chipotle bowl and I think this is gonna be a good one. So first things first, it's Chipotle. We need our rice. And a bowl the size of your head. Obviously not rice rice though. We got cauliflower rice. We're not trying to throw away calories. Cauliflower rice in. Already thinking this bowl isn't gonna be big enough. Second bag going in. Okay, that is our chipotle rice base layer. On top of that, we are adding shredded chicken. You can't have chipotle without some shredded chicken. Am I right? And our sweet corn. With that, we're also gonna add some pepper. And then we need to finish it off with lettuce. However, weird story. I'm actually allergic to lettuce, believe it or not. So we've got spinach instead. We're gonna shred the spinach. We're gonna add it to the bowl. But as you can see, we need a bigger bowl. This should do the trick. It completely messed up the aesthetic, but that is okay. Time to add the spinach. Obviously the whole bag, like Scott requested. Spinach is added. The only thing left to do is top that with some cheese. I'll add some salsa and then we are done. Okay guys, meal two has arrived and Scott was not lying. It is a whopper. Look at the size of it. I don't know if you can tell, and I do have a small head like I've said many times, but this thing is absolutely huge and it smells like a minch pot there right now i cannot wait to eat this i'll put the macros and the calories on the screen right here so you know what's in this and i'll give you my review but first i'm gonna eat it okay so chipotle bowl was another absolute banger of a meal it was honestly so good so let's give it the rating for satiety it's literally gonna be a 10 because I'm not gonna lie to you guys it defeated me. I couldn't, I literally couldn't finish it. I couldn't finish the whole bowl, which is shameful. In terms of creativity, I'll give it a six because it was kind of Chipotle's creation. So, you know, I think it's fair. In terms of difficulty, it's an eight because the only thing you need to really do is be able to cook chicken, which tastes nice and season it well. So aside from that, it's super easy. And in terms of taste, we'll give it an eight because it's pretty much as good as you make it. So, you know, the recipe's there. You just gotta make it well. So that is meal one and two done. And as you can see, I've had a lot of food for not a crazy amount of calories and macros. So 
we're doing well so far. Now I'm going to head for a bit of a walk, let that food digest, walk off this food baby from the chipotle bowl that I couldn't even finish, and then I'll see you at meal three. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Damn it, I've got to work the next few evenings, and I've just been told last minute I'm not going to have time to make food. Unless I prep out some meals that I can take with me, I'll give Scott a call. Hey Scott, I've got a favour to ask. I know you were literally just about to tell me what meal three is going to be, but I kind of need it to be something that I can make now and prep out for the next few days, so make a big batch of. Can you help with that at all? Hey man, no worries, okay? There are a load of recipes which like you can just prep up in my book, okay? How about this one? The sweet potato lasagna. Sweet potato lasagna? That sounds interesting. Lasagna is usually really high in fat and calories though and pretty lacking in protein considering. Yeah, it is, but not this one, okay? You're literally talking pretty low calorie and over 50 grams of protein. No way. That sounds perfect to offer in a few days then. I'll make it now. Let us just appreciate this absolute beauty for a second. I mean, look. Look at this huge thing, it's ridiculous. This is a sweet potato lasagna and I cannot wait to try it. Are we gonna eat the whole thing? I don't know, are we? But honestly, this looks insane. I can't wait to try it and I'll let you guys know how it is. All right, it is time to try the sweet potato lasagna. I've been pretty excited about this. As you can see, we didn't go for the whole lasagna because I'm way too full from the other food we've already had today. But you can see you've got a sizable portion of the lasagna there. And then we've got some broccoli for the micronutrients. So let's give it a try. Okay, let's give it a go. Okay, it's time to give the rating for the sweet potato lasagna. Gonna get right into this one and start with creativity. You saw it coming. This is a 10 out of 10 because I don't know about you guys, but I've never had a sweet potato lasagna. I don't know if it's just me that's missed this whole thing, but a sweet potato lasagna, the, the, the calories and macros are incredible. And yeah, 10 out of 10 creativity. In terms of taste, again, 10 out of 10. I absolutely loved it. Like I said, I love lasagna, and the fact that this tasted so good whilst having such good macros, that's a double 10 out of 10 right there. In terms of fillingness, it was super filling for the amount of calories. I was not expecting a slice for 400 calories to fill me up as much as it did, so it couldn't be much more filling for what it is. So for that, I'm gonna give it a nine. And then in terms of ease of making it, that's where it falls down slightly because it is very, 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 very slightly harder to make than some of the other things. It does take a bit more preparation. So for that, I'm gonna give it a seven. But based on those scores, I think this recipe book is gonna do very well. But anyway, enough rambling. That was meal three. It's time for meal four, the macro capper. Okay guys, it is time for the final meal of the day, the macro kappa. And if you've seen any of my other four days of eating, you know that I like this meal to be a couple of things. One is filling, going to bed hungry is literally hell. And the second is sweet. I gotta fill those dessert cravings. So with that in mind, what have you got for me, Scott? Pizza, my man. After all, I am Italiano. Pizza? Did you listen to anything I just said, man? Like, not to be rude, and I love pizza, it's not exactly sweet, is it? No, 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 no. Check out page 128, we're talking a dessert pizza. Molto buono. Oh, okay, now that is what I'm talking about. <laughs> Look, I know, okay, but along with that, I want you to try one of my ice cream recipes too, okay? I mean, what's a full day of eating without some ice cream? That is very true, very true. But which one are we going to go for? There's a ton of different options in your book. Well, I think you might actually like the Snickers one, so yes, give that one a go, and I presume you have skinny syrup to top it all with, yeah? I love skinny syrups. 
But I just ran out, man. That's a bummer. Unless you can lend me one. Ah, uh, you're asking a lot here, okay? You know how protective I am of my zero-calorie syrups, but look, you can use this one. Ah, you're a legend, man. Thank you. Perfect. Okay, I've now got everything I need. Let's do it. guys time to try out the snickers deluxe protein ice cream we have a massive bowl and a tiny spoon standard makes it last longer Alright guys, so I'm going to give you the ratings for the dessert pizza and the ice cream right now. In terms of that ice cream, it was absolutely insane. Like I've told you before, Snickers is my favourite chocolate bar and that ice cream literally tasted like Snickers. It was so thick, the density was amazing, it was just, it was insane. So in terms of fillingness, I'm going to give it a 9 because if you've ever had protein ice cream before, you know it's super filling anyway, but the more the more ice you add, the bigger and bigger and bigger it will get, so you pretty much make it as filling as it needs to be. In terms of creativity, I'm going to give it an 8, because yeah, protein ice cream isn't that revolutionary anymore, but the actual creativity of the ingredients used and the way he made it taste so much like a Snickers was just ridiculous, so yeah, good score for that. In terms of ease to make it, if you've got a blender, if you've got the ingredients, you can make it. You just whack it in, press on, done. So that is a 10 out of 10. And then in terms of the dessert pizza, again, for taste, it's going to get a 10 because that dessert pizza blew my mind. As you saw, I had to darken out the clip because you, uh, you, you didn't want to see what happened between me and that pizza. But the chocolatey sauce for the pizza, the melted marshmallows, the skinny syrup over the top, it was just, oh, it was absolutely, it was something else. And I'm not even dieting right now, and it was that good. So imagine if I had that whilst cutting, it would probably blow my mind. So in terms of creativity for the dessert pizza, I'm gonna give it a 10 because that, it was, it was a bloody good idea, Scott. In terms of ease of making it, again, it was really, really easy. So I'll give that a nine, it couldn't be much easier than it was. And in terms of fillingness, I'm gonna give it a five because it's not a super voluminous thing or anything like that. It's not crazy filling. It's more of a cravings buster than something to fill you up. As you've seen, the food we've had today has been incredible. I've felt so full. It's tasted so good. It's been super easy to make everything I was able to buy down the shops and it wasn't expensive ingredients or anything like that. So it was very, very successful. I'm doing a whole nother review video to actually break down what I think and what you can expect from the book and that'll be coming next week. So you can see the full review in that next video. But for today, I'm just gonna leave you with the fact that if you're thinking about buying this recipe book, I think you should. It is banging. And there we have it guys, an extremely high volume, low calorie, full day of eating from the brand new high volume recipe book picked by the man himself, Scott Murray. After all the insanely good food you've seen me eat today, 
I literally feel like I've eaten about 10,000 calories worth of purely fats and carbohydrates but somehow I've absolutely smashed my protein goal. I've not even gone over my calories. When you get creative in the kitchen, you can do a surprising amount. So the total calories and macros for today's meals will be on the screen right about here. That is pretty insane if you look at what I've actually eaten. And again, I really wanna give a massive shout out and a big thank you to Scott Murray for agreeing to feature in this video. It's gonna be an awesome video, I know, and this is the first video featuring somebody else I've ever done. So that is exciting for me. So go on Scott, tell the people where they can find you. Well, thank you, Ash. I'm glad you had a good day of eating, okay? So yes, you can find me on Instagram at smurry underscore 32, or my second account is at it's underscore Scott Murray. Then just type in Scott Murray on YouTube. Go to scottmurrayfitness.com uh, to find my recipe book and all that jazz. But seriously, I just appreciate any support and hopefully you like the content. So yes, again, thank you Ash for doing this. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, it came out well. Well, I hope it did anyway. And with that being said, that is it for today, guys. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Ashmay PT. There is new videos coming out every Tuesday and every Friday, so join the team and don't miss out. Give the video a thumbs up, and until the next one, see you later, guys.